Once you've done the proper protective equipment, you're ready to do the chemical test. The cooling tower's chemical supplies and testing equipment is located behind this door and in these two cabinets. Be sure to lock this door behind you using this as otherwise it'll flap in the breeze and it's really annoying. First, <clears throat> you'll need to gather your Hock meter, a test tube with an O marked on it, and a test tube with an X marked on it. Again, the ball spigot located here, and this needs to be turned to start the flow of the cooling tower water. Empty the tube with the X cap on it, rinse it three times in the stream of water, and fill it the white line on the side of the vial. Repeat the procedure with a test tube marked O. As well, <clears throat> you'll need to turn on by pressing this button once, rinse, 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 and then fill with a halfway line marked fill. Shut off your water test. There should be Kimtech wipes or paper towel in here to dry off your samples. And place them in here. The O is what we use to measure the molybdenum, so we'll set that off to the right. And the X is what we use to measure <coughs> the residual oxidizer or chlorine. And we'll set that off to the left. We'll start with the chlorine. Take your sample, place it into the other hack beater on the left, press the on button, and you'll see the results of the last test. To set a baseline, press the blue button once, and this establishes your baseline, zero, zero. At this point, remove it, grab two of the free chlorine test pillows, because these are only for five milliliters each, and our test sample is 10 milliliters. Flick them to get the compound to go to the bottom of the packet, and open. At this point, we need to introduce the test reagent into the vial, both of them. And you should see it instantly turn red. Give it a shake and count to 20. 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000. 9, 1010, 1011, 1012, 1013, 1014, 1015, 1016, 1017, 18, 1019, 1020. Press the green button once. And 11 indicates there's more than necessary in there. And under the free halogen or free chlorine, that is where you will enter 11. Remove the sample. We may now start to test the molybdenum. 
by testing a distilled water sample into the unit, turn the unit on, and zero it out again to establish a baseline by pressing the blue button once. There you get a zero, zero. At this point, you'll take the sample that you collected in the vial and add one packet of the molybdenum testing agent and wait for five minutes before sampling or te testing. I typically do this by setting a timer on my phone. Set timer for five minutes please. There we go. Shake it. Place it in the component and wait for the timer to go off. In the meantime, we can check the temperature, which is located in the cabinet on the left on this yellow control module. To do that, you open up here, like so, and press the left button twice. You see our temperature is 69 degrees. That goes in under temperature 69. Make sure you're writing on the right line. It's very easy to get confused here. We also need to check our conductivity by pressing both of these buttons. And it is 1180. Anywhere you go in this, as long as you press those two buttons, it will always bring back you back to continuity. So there we are at 1190. On our meter, it will be set to the pH unit. If you need to find that it's not on the pH, the way to get scroll through is hold this button down on the very top. It will go to the conductivity, the total dissolved solids, the saline quotient, and then you're back at pH. 10, 4, 1. Mark that under the pH. Mark the time that you're taking it, 11.25. And set your what your measurement for the lid is going to be, get that ready, because in a few minutes we'll have that to look forward to. Um, you can also, in this time, write in your initials under initials. Two minutes and 25 seconds. During that time, we can also clean our, our previous testings. Uh, take this dump it and you will find uh, distilled water pour it over that bulb just a little bit and then rinse your tube or cap three times back up to the halfway fill line and replace it in there. To turn it off, just simply press the bottom button once. I'm sorry, press the bottom button and hold. Now that monitor is good for the next time we use it. Again, with our uh, free chlorine test, dump it. It's very dilute. The rainwater will wash it away. Make everything pretty and clean. Once, Try to get both the vial and the cap three times. Uh, I like to fill it and store it full of distilled water. There is, you'll see a heater in here, so we don't have to worry about that freezing in cases of... Uh,
I almost forgot. Don't 